Hi boys and girls, remember Uncle Ellen? And whenever you see Uncle Ellen, I am in Florida. I'm so glad to because see you again, Ellen. Even with all the pandemic, we're still able to meet and, and uh, socialize. Well, thanks to the US government for letting me in. We let anybody in. <laughs> oh my God. Ellen is taking me to the Vizcaya Museum in Miami. Yes. And this is the most opulent, magnificent mansion in all of America. Yes, definitely. It's, it's, it's a must-see for... If you're coming to South Florida, you definitely want to go see the sky. We are at Fort Lauderdale, so we're taking the Brightline train. You've never been to Brightline? I had not used Brightline. It's a new service. It's only been, uh, I think, in operation about what, three years, something like that. Oh, really? About three years. Yeah. It's, well, it's a new. It's a whole new thing. Well, it's a really nice station, and they go Beautiful from station. Fort Lauderdale directly there. So I'm going to show you the train. So you can get the Fort Lauderdale station and then go to Miami. It takes about half an hour. So we're going to go there, and we're going to show you this magnificent mansion that I couldn't even believe it exists here in America. We're going to walk all over this mansion, and I'm going to tell you everything about it. Nice train. I have a little thing here that you can put your phone and watch. Yeah, yeah put your phone. It's quite nice. Do you like the train? I love the train. Beautiful, only three years old. Uh, totally modern, efficient. Yeah. We're wearing our mask, we're being, being proactive Responsible. in healthcare. Yeah. Unlike the rest of Florida. I'm actually impressed. This is my first time on a train in America from city to city. And uh, we, we've done a video on in the train in Tokyo, remember? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we did, yes. But this is really, really nice. And the weather is looking really cute. And I really like this station. I mean, both stations are really. This is what travel should be, right? Absolutely. Yeah, this is what travel should be. It's seamless and good service. If you travel with Bright Lawn, you need to get there within five miles. They offer free transport. Complimentary, Complimentary transport. transport. Complimentary transport from Bright Lawn. This is fabulous. I it's am amazed. Shot. Look at it. Wow. A Tesla. A Tesla to drive you to your destination. Future. This is, this is fantastic. the future of travel. Thank you, Bright Lawn. Ah, look, look at the screen. For example, you uh -huh. don't have the seatbelt, please do it. Right. Oh, sit there. When I got autopilot, the car drives itself. The car drives itself. This is an autopilot? Yes. This is a self-driving car? Yeah. Autopilot. Everything, you control it with this screen. Everything. Wow. Look at that. Oh my god. But such a beautiful car. Yeah, this, this is, is impressive. Gorgeous. And I love all his statues. Oh, you got to drive in? Coming here, the first time coming in through this. Fabulous, like fabulous. Look at this display. We're here and this looks so opulent. The weather is really perfect. Bought our ticket already. You need to buy your ticket online, but they have discounted tickets. If you're a veteran or, or a senior and you get discounted tickets, those discounted tickets can only be bought on spot. So look at how incredibly big this place is. You have barge, theater, garden, center island, secret garden. My favorite, the barge. The barge. I don't know. It's a palace, I would say. As we walked into this magnificent mansion, greeted by Bacchus, the god of wine and hospitality, let me tell you a bit about this museum. 
The Vizcaya Museum and Gardens is the former villa and estate of businessman James Deering on Biscayne Bay in the present-day Coconut Grove neighborhood of South Miami, Florida. In 1910, he purchased land from a complex buildings and gardens in Coconut Grove. He and Paul Schalfin then traveled through Europe, purchasing furniture and architectural elements to be incorporated into Deering's new home, which he named Vizcaya, the name of a Spanish province rendered in English. As Biscay. The landscape and architecture were influenced by Veneto and Tuscan Italian Renaissance models and designed in the Mediterranean Revival architectural style with Baroque elements. F. Bureau Hoffman was the architect, Paul Schaefin was the design director, and Diego Suarez was the landscape architect. The estate property originally consisted of 180 acres of shoreline, mangrove, swamp, and dense inland native tropical forests. Being a conservationist, Deering cited the development of the estate portion along the shore to conserve the forest. This portion was to include the villa, former gardens, recreational amenities, expansive lagoon gardens with new islets and grazing fields, and a village services compound. Deering began construction of Vizcaya in 1912, officially beginning occupancy on Christmas Day 1916. Oh, there's two towers on the second floor, and we're right here. See, there's a sitting room, that's his bedroom, bedroom, mm -hmm. a galleon, caravel. There's a breakfast. There's a breakfast room, pantry, and kitchen. So Alan is playing Pokemon and he said this is a Pokemon heaven because? This is Pokemon heaven because it has so many stops and it explains everything on all the pieces as only people who play Pokemon will understand what I'm talking about. But it's wonderful. Well, it's not related to this video, but apparently it's a Pokemon heaven here. <laughs> if any of you Pokemon people are listening. what was here mango it was all mango groves this this is just beside the mansion what everything was wow when he came before 
So he has two two boats. This is the this is the dock for two of his boats. One of his boats was for a lo local picking up the his guests from the mainland. Wow. Because you have to remember at the time it was only. 42,000 people in Florida, in South Florida. So um, he would pick them up and bring them to his estate. And then he had a larger boat that would go out fishing to take them out for a day trip. So he had two boats, he's that he had way. Two boats, two different size, two different size boats. Fun fact about this place is Reagan, in 1987, Reagan received the Pope here on his official visit to Florida, his first Pope John Paul II. And in 1994, Bill Clinton used this house, this mansion, for the first America's Council, where all the America's countries are invited. Careful step, Helen. Thank you. Thank you, Mother. <laughs> so the, the mansion was magnificent and so opulent. Now we're off to the garden, which is even more spectacular. I heard it's a little like Renaissance style, Italian style, Mediterranean garden. So it's like 50 acres, I heard. Yeah. So let's go and explore the gardens. Diego Suarez designed the house main gardens. Vizcaya's European inspired gardens are among the most elaborate in the United States. Reminiscence of gardens created in 17th and 18th century Italy and France, the overall landscape design is conceived as a series of rooms. The gardens today is the most popular wedding photo spot in all of Miami. Many Hollywood movies were also filmed here, including Marvel's Iron Man 3. That was our trip here at Vizcaya Museum. And what do you think, Ellen? Historically significant. One of the more important architectural masterpieces in America. It is a must-see for everyone who comes to South Florida. I totally agree. I mean, this is a heritage site. Um, all Americans should come and see this. Um, it's very unique because it's not only a museum, but events do take place here. It's really a living space. Um, people come here for weddings, photos, and all sorts of things that we saw today. It is such a magnificent mansion. I mean, the garden is gorgeous. That's it from my video today with Alan on Vizcaya Museum. I will hope to see you in the next video where adventures, another adventures await us. Bye! Bye.